Thank you for joining me in another 2021-2022 uh, purchasing guide for the beginner guitar player. And in this video, we're going to share some products that we stand by and recommend. A lot of them, we own them or have uh, tested them out in our classes. And we definitely believe that these are uh, good options for our students. Now, there's a lot of them, so you may have to you know, make a decision of which one would you like to try. But we really uh, like this list. We're going to post it in the description of this video with links to each one of the products uh, so you guys can check that out. So let's start with the first thing. We definitely want to recommend you guys getting a dedicated tuner. So the Snark, uh, and this one I think is the super tight, uh, I believe the model is SN8. This comes around $17 at the time of making this video really good tuner now these tuners tend to tend to, used to be a lot more fragile i think they have changed the design uh, recently but uh, the black one the super tight one works pretty well with multiple different instruments and gives you pretty good readings some of them are not i believe as sensitive so it's almost like they have different colors and different variations but this one in my opinion out of using multiple uh, tuners by snark it is probably the best one uh, from them for us. So definitely consider getting that one. Is Even though you can get an app to tune the guitar, I do believe that it's almost like a little bit more functional and faster to have a dedicated tuner. So next up, we want to talk about acoustic guitars. And in the acoustic guitars, I want to tell you this. This is the Yamaha. Uh, let me check the model. Is the JR1. And this is a guitar that is not full size. We do believe in starting with metal strings and with a guitar that is not full size, especially if the student is young. Now, this guitar is $160 at the time of making this video, and we definitely encourage you guys to learn how to play on an instrument that is not too big, even if you are an adult. So if you're an adult, it's okay to start with a guitar, and I personally play a guitar. My guitar, my main guitar that I teach uh, six days a week with is a guitar that it's uh, three quarters. And I love it. I can get my hands around it easily. So it's almost like when I play a full-size acoustic guitar, it's a little bit more work. And I almost find it not necessary for what I do. You want an acoustic guitar that is full-size if you want a bigger tone. But I don't need that when I teach. And I don't think you need that while you practice. So sometimes to make the process a little bit easier on yourself or a beginner uh, that is young, is good to have an instrument that is not full size. Now, uh, if you do want to get a full size, we want to recommend the next one, which is a Fender a Dreadnought Squire acoustic guitar. Now, this has metal strings, so did the other one before. Uh, we definitely recommend starting with metal strings and playing with a pick. We feel like that is easier, so we don't recommend starting with a nylon string guitar. Now, the Fender Squire is 179. Uh, Fender makes great guitars. Uh, this one is, will, and will feel a little bit bigger. So I almost feel like if the child is young, this is going to be a little bit harder to play. But it is a really good guitar. And a lot of these guitars, and check them directly, uh, sometimes they have packages and they come with a uh, strap and a case and picks and strings and all that. Those packages tend to not be that great. A lot of those accessories are okay. You're probably going to want to replace them and get better things later on. But I think it's fun to to almost get it and have multiple things that you can get started with. So uh, let's, next up, we want to recommend a one electric guitar. So actually two electric guitars. This one is the first one. This is the Lex uh, Pro electric guitar. They have this company. Uh, a couple of our students have purchased them. I can tell you this. They're, they're nice. Uh, I wouldn't say they're incredible. I definitely believe that the things that come with them are barely decent, especially the amp, but it's okay. It gets the job done. They have multiple sizes. So it's almost 39 inches will be a full size electric guitar. And I think it goes down to 30, which would be the smallest one. And I would tell you probably, I think they have 30 and they have 36, if I'm not mistaken, and 39. So I would say if the student is younger, if they're pretty young, you know, six, seven, eight, probably the 36 would be a good fit. A little bit older, 30, sorry, the 30 for the six, seven, eight years old, then 36 if they're a little bit older, and then of course 39 for adults. So great guitar. Uh, it really, I, I believe with guitars, uh, you almost never know how good the guitar is going to be because guitars need to be sometimes adjusted. But the best thing is when you get a guitar that already comes 
and uh, the action is pretty good. And the action is the distance between the strings. Like if this is the strings and this is the wood, you don't want a lot of distance. When the distance is really high from the strings to the wood, it's more effort to push them down. Now, every guitar is different. And even in the same model, you may have 10 guitars and maybe three play really well and seven don't play that well. So it's a little bit of luck, but the more expensive guitars, tend to be nicer on that end. But definitely the Lex Pro, uh, it's, a, it's a great uh, price point and it's, a, it's great that it comes with multiple uh, additional things. Now, uh, I can tell you, I personally really like Ivanes. And this is the Ivanes uh, GRX20 and WWH. This is $150. And this guitars and Ivanes guitars, I really like them for a couple of reasons. One, I think they have pretty good components. The screws, the the knobs tend to be good, tend to not not fall off type of thing, and also they are the neck. In my opinion, is one of the best necks for a beginner because the neck is th uh, thinner. So when you're playing guitar with your left hand, one of the biggest uh, challenges is getting your hand around and having enough force to push put the push the strings down. The uh, Ivanes guitars tend to be thinner and that almost makes the process of playing them a little bit easier. So I own a couple of electric guitars that are Ivanes and I really enjoy playing them. And we even use a, a very thin Ivanes electric guitar for our concerts just to make our students have an easier time when they perform. So this uh, guitar is $150 and great choice. It, Probably you can find it with, I think GRX20 is the main model and you probably find it in different colors and guitars come and go in different colors and different packages and all that. So I think there you have to check. Now let's uh, talk a little bit about one of the final products, which is going to be the Fender. Uh, this is the LT25. Uh, this is $200. It's a really good amp. Uh, Fender, of course, has been uh, around uh, the game of uh, electric guitar and uh, guitars in general for a long, long time, and they make really good amps. And this amp sounds really nice. It's not, it's not powerful enough to to play in front of a hundred people, you know, with almost like nothing else and a drummer and being really loud. But it's great for beginners because one of the things is it sounds really nice. So we definitely recommend it. It's not super cheap. There are other uh, amps that are less but this one is a really nice amp. So I try to tell people, you know, when you when you get that, like, the electric guitar, uh, I guess, uh, feel really depends on that the amp is a decent one and that the guitar also is pretty good. So we definitely want to recommend this one as a great option uh, for our students. Now, lastly, let me talk about a couple of things that I don't really have pictures for, but you want to probably get medium picks. Uh, we don't believe in getting soft or hard, especially for people that are starting out. And at the same time, get a six foot instrument cable. That will be the cable that you're going to plug the guitar, especially for electric guitars, into the amp. And you don't want to do short cables, say uh, three feet. You can probably do five, but I feel like six foot cables are enough that when you're practicing, you can move around and you know pick up a book and, and do things. I think sometimes uh, very short cables can get in the way. So hopefully all of these uh, products uh, are products that you guys can check out. Let me know in the comments if you think I missed anything that should be on this list. Uh, we definitely put these videos together to help our uh, customers and anyone out there to have a very good idea of what can they try to go to. And let me finish the video by saying that if you are a guitar player, it's actually pretty cool to have both an acoustic guitar and electric guitar. It's a little bit like shoes, you know. I mean, it's fun to have more than one. Now, do you need 300? No, but it's almost like you do want different shoes for different reasons. For, you know, going to the beach is different than the, a more dressy occasion. And I think the same thing happens with the guitars. You do want guitars that can do different things. So you can start with one, get a decent instrument, and then you can later on save and then purchase something else. If you want more information about us, check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. Check the description for links to these products, and we'll definitely see you guys on the next one. Take care.